Hello. About a minute early, so I'll just wait a couple minutes to see if anybody's coming on here. It's our week two of the Abundance Challenge, and we are setting intentions for this week all about health. Um, looks like I need to go back and put that as the title. This week is about health, so um, you find your health affirmations in your health pages and make a plan on what you're going to do each day um, or just get the papers out for 15 minutes each day and and sit down and look at it um, so that's what we're talking about how to set your intentions around health and I have my oil I'll do a little breathing with us and talking about how to make change so the title I chose is change takes steps steps lead to progress progress leads to new habits so the reason Linda and I made this course is because we were once really really stuck we saw all the things we wanted to do and had no idea how to get there we had to take baby steps and keep doing baby steps until we saw progress. So let's um, get some oil to start with and if you have comments you can type them out because I can see them and get back to you. So let's get our oil. If you don't have abundance nearby use another one and I chose an affirmation from the journal. You can print it out if you haven't printed it out. I'm going to take a really big deep breath of my oils, tell you the affirmation I chose was, I choose to focus on positive progress. I choose to focus on positive progress. So what I want us to do is take our right hand to our heart, our left hand to our belly, and we'll just do a couple of breaths, feeling our belly go in and out with each breath, letting our shoulders sink down and back, feeling our sit bones if we're sitting, maybe feeling a little bit taller through the spine. If our feet are on the ground, taking notice to our feet touching the ground. With each breath, feeling our belly inflate and deflate. You may notice that it's harder to get into the belly than we realize. We often breathe up here in this chest. So see if you can keep breathing into that belly couple more breaths and our affirmation is I choose to focus on positive progress one more deep breath allowing your eyes to flutter open relaxing your arms down if you uh, choose one of the affirmations for health this week and choose a power pose or you can do that breathing where you just can come in, in internal a little bit. Depends on how you're feeling if you need an energizing pose or a relaxing pose. Um, so change, how to make change. So I have a couple of do's and a couple of don'ts. Okay. Health can be a huge topic and we're all different in regards to health. So we don't want to get overwhelmed with trying to do too many things at one time. Um, that paralyzes us. So choose a health goal that you're currently working on. Uh, one area would be best. And we did this abundance challenge back in July and I chose some dietary things. Um, this time I'm not choosing that. I'm choosing to focus on activity. So 
Um, you can come back to this throughout the year and I would really encourage you to choose a different area each time um, and not get too overwhelmed. So that's number one on the don't list. Don't do too many steps at one time. Okay, so let's think of this change as a staircase. We have lots of steps to get to our end goal. So we need to keep that end goal in mind, but realizing that there's all these steps. So we may be on the first step. We may not even have started. We may be on the bottom step. We could have made some really good changes over the last few years and be halfway to where we want to be. So pick where you are on your journey and do not do too many steps on that um, staircase at one time. So we want to make sure we're just getting to the next step. Don't skip any of the steps. So that that's about the same. That's almost the same as just focus on one step at a time. But you don't want to be looking at okay. Well, in a month I want to be at this step. What can I do this week to get to the to the next step? So don't skip too many steps because that's when we constantly get ourselves overwhelmed and we give up. Okay, number three on the don't list. Don't move down any steps, okay? We do make mistakes, it's okay, but um, try not to move back down to like, I'm completely at the bottom. Um, so when you realize that you're going down, down a step is fine, right? But if you've gone down so many steps, you need to get yourself back um, to going up again. So don't get into that defeatist mode where you realized you went down a step and now you're just going to give up and go all the way back. So it's okay to move down one step. Give yourself some grace and let's just focus on the positive progress. You've made all those other steps, so don't lose those ones. Okay. Um, so reevaluate where you are at each step, even if you stay there for some time. So you want to be able to stay at that level, okay? Even if you stay on that level for a long time, you don't want to go back down to where you were before. Linda, yes, yeah, so important. That's why I have struggled so many times. I go down, down, down. Yeah, so down a step, it works, but then you can get back up, you know, the next week, the next month, whatever. Um, but we want to reevaluate if, why are we going down? Reevaluate when that happens so that you can make a change to go back up again. Okay, let's go to the do list. Do keep that end goal at the top of the steps in mind every single day. You need a way to keep that end goal in mind. So let's take health, for example. Um, I Let's take something super easy. We wanna drink more water. That's our end goal. We want how many gallon, how many, a gallon a day. That's our goal. Um, so some days we have a bad day, right? We can go back up the next day. Keep that end goal always in mind and have a way yeah, visualize it, Linda, great. Have a way to get there. You need a tangible, a picture, a gallon jug, um, you know, the word water, something to keep that goal in mind every day. Um, and what else? Do treat each day as a new day. So we need to realize that we have bad days and the next day is a new day and we're on that step, one day will not bring you back down a step. You're still in the same level, even if you had a bad day. Then you keep looking at the progress, you keep looking at that end goal. Um, treat each day as a new day and ask yourself, what step am I on? Am I halfway to my goal? Am I you know, quarter? Am I almost there? Which step are you on that day? Um, so that's why we really need to just, you know, not overwhelm ourselves with too many changes at once. Last do. Do give your attention to the area that needs to change. Okay. This is really important. The abundance challenge has four areas. Which of these areas do you want to see the most growth in? You may not be able to get all four of them in four weeks. So which 
is your true um, attention right now? We, we try to do too many things at once. So do you want to really buckle down on health this week and make some really great progress? Um, how was your confidence and mindfulness from last week? Is that an area that is your weakest? Do you want that to be really where you focus? Uh, confidence in health, confidence um, in relationships is next week. And then what's the last week? Finances. So maybe this four weeks, you really just need to focus on which of these areas is the one that you need to put the most attention into. Because if you are truly overwhelmed and stuck, all four of these areas are going to continue to keep you in stuck mode. So listen to your heart this week um, on health. And if this is the area that you need the most attention, this is what Linda's workshops are all about on, on Saturdays. Which of these areas do you need to start with? So um, that's the advice for today is think of your journey as a staircase. Have the end goal in mind. Um, always looking to progress. Choose to focus on the positive progress. Um, and I hope this staircase visual helps. Um, and, you know, realizing where you are on that and trying to keep moving, keep moving up. So let's do one more breath. Let's do a power pose this time. Okay. I like, um, I like warrior. I don't know if you can see me, but warrior, I'll do warrior too. I choose to focus on Pro positive progress. I choose to focus on positive progress. Take a deep breath of your oils. I choose to focus on positive progress. I choose to focus on positive progress. I choose to focus on positive progress. Okay, that really, really, when you go from the internal feeling to the external pose, you can really feel the difference. So I, I hope you try both and um, that you can internalize these affirmations with the oils. And I can't wait to see some of your progress and some of your steps. Have a good night and enjoy this week all about health. Goodbye for now.